YouTube channel. Today I wanted to start a new series, I know I've said that a few times, but basically I did the three ways to wear and you guys were not fans of it. Well, maybe some of you were. Some of you seem to really like it, but we just wasn't getting the views and I thought there's no point in making something that you guys don't want to watch. And I know you love my hauls and I don't do them that often or like not as often as I'd like. So I thought instead of doing like three ways to wear, I can still do the ways to wear videos, but maybe more irregularly and then do like more ways to wear so maybe like 10 ways to wear something so i've got more time to put into it and make it better and then every week i will do like a little mini haul of everything i've got that's new in my wardrobe so i'm gonna call it like what's new in my wardrobe or new in my wardrobe or weekly haul something like that anyway so yeah I, it's gonna be like more manageable and i can talk to you about everything and show you and i thought where better to do it if it's about what's new in my wardrobe than in my wardrobe so I've got a rail of everything that's new in this week, some bits here, and I'm going to wear the piece while I talk to you about it so that we can, like, discuss. So, um, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, um, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do three videos a week. Um, I do weekly vlogs, this weekly haul, and then, like, a miscellaneous video on a Sunday. So, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, 7pm, I always upload. Um, so, make sure you subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So the first thing I have to show you is this skirt which I got from J Crew, and I really love it. It's so comfortable. It's like kind of that crinkled material. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called seersucker, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's really cute. It's got like this tie, but it's not actually tie. It's just like for show. And then it zips up at the back, and it's super comfortable. I probably like it's quite big. I probably could have gone down a size, um, but I do really like it. It's really simple for summer. Um, just like a great skirt that you can mix and match with lots of different pieces um, I'm just wearing it with this Bershka top now but I wore it actually I'll put a picture in last week to the J Crew party which is why I got the skirt with um, like a mix and match kind of top from Revolve which is like a checked blue top so I thought it was really cool with the mix of patterns so as I said I also got some bits from Bershka which is this top which I really love like honestly I'm obsessed with this top it's like um, border and lace, but it's on like a sheer material, but it's lined in this area. So you don't have to wear bra, which is really handy because things like this just don't look good with bras. Uh, and it's just a really pretty top and I think it's like £20. Um, and then I've just matched it with this Bershka skirt. I did actually get them as an outfit, but I do feel like the skirt, can you see, it's quite revealing. So I feel like I probably would wear the skirt more with like a jumper. Um, or like a t-shirt like a really casual printed let me show you now actually this is how I'd wear the skirt with like a slogan tee um, it's such a pretty skirt and I think you could wear like day or night just up or down um, but I really like it with just like a slogan tee um, and then I'd probably wear it with like trainers too I just think it's a really cute little look so yeah, I'm actually wearing this outfit today um, very cute so next I'm moving on to Revolve and um, if you don't know um, and like follow my vlogs or anything and you're new, I um, did like a week in London last week with Revolve. Um, so they had like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they had events on, they were doing a Revolve around the world. Um, so they were based in London, Revolve is an American company. But there's some really exciting news, so let me just finish what I'm saying. So if you want to see what I got up to with them, then make sure you watch my vlog, which I will link here, I think it's there, or maybe it's there. Um, and um, yeah, so we had a really fun week, so make sure you go and watch that because it was such fun. And also, um, because we were doing that week, they basically invited me to their gifting suite and then they gave me a budget so I could afford to get a outfit for each event. So we had two each day. So yeah, I got like a day outfit and an evening outfit for each day. Um, so that's six outfits in total. So I've got them all here to show you. Um, and I did mix and match quite a few things, um, which I hadn't planned to. Um, so I'll talk you through why I did that now. But before I get into it, Revolve have actually like launched Express UK shipping. So it's a US brand. Um, and so now if you spend over £70 at the moment, you can get Express shipping to the UK I'm really hoping it's still on when you talk, when I'm telling you guys. But anyway, it's express shipping to the UK for three days, like three day shipping from the US and also free returns. So like, even if you're not doing like the express or whatever, it's free returns um, no matter what. And so I think that's amazing. And also they've changed their prices. So on the UK site, they seem more expensive than the US, but it's just because they incorporate the taxes and duties 
into the price so um that's way better because before they didn't do that and then if you order something you could get like a tax bill or a duty bill or an import fee or whatever when you finally got your thing from the post office but they've changed it now which is amazing because it just means there's like no scary surprises and when you make that order you're like consciously knowing that you're going to pay that amount and not having to like worry about having to pay more when it finally comes so yeah that's amazing i'm gonna stop blabbering now so um this is the dress i wore on the first evening um and it was uh, sequin themed so um this is actually like a way too big on the boob area it's too low for me to wear a bra um, and it's quite short for me like can you see i don't know if you can see right i've just moved you down so you can see the bottom so it's quite short um and like low and everything so i felt a bit vulnerable so i decided to pair it with a jacket that i'd actually got for another thing and i styled it up so well i'll put a picture in it looks so cool um and i just wore with this blazer that i'd actually got for a lunch um and it just went so perfectly because they're both pink then i wore my balenciaga boots and grabbed my Louis Vuitton bag and it's like all of the nude kind of colours went really well um, and I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. This kind of covered the fact that I don't have any boobs um, and this ends like at the same length so yeah it looked really cool and I loved this as an outfit and this jacket I'm going to come to shortly. Um, I totally forgot to say I'll put all the prices, um, not prices sorry sizes in the description box below and link everything. Um, so this is a really cool, it's actually a romper look, it's got like little shorts um, from LPA and I'm standing like this because it's too big for me so it fits fine everywhere else like it's a bit loose but like I don't mind it like that but I got it in a medium and it's just way too big on the arms it just falls down so I need to just like sew those a little bit just to make them fit better um so I would have gone down to a small but literally they don't have medium left and I was like I love this didn't see it being much of a problem it definitely was um but yeah i really love this dress so much it's so cool and the print is amazing and it actually says send nudes like how cool is that as a dress that says send nudes i literally love it and they had this in a few different prints actually so maybe i'll like link the other prints but um not prints sorry styles so, like this print in a few different styles so maybe i'll link those below but yeah i really love this it's such a cool dress how cool is this? So this dress I actually picked up in a panic at the gifting suite. So for the final um, event, it was literally like, you can pick anything um, just like basically fancy wear, <laughs> fancy wear. Um, and I picked this just because I didn't know what to wear. I'd already been in the gifting suite for an hour. Jack was like, come on Sinead. And um, I literally couldn't find anything. It was between this and the jumpsuit. And I was like, this is more classic. Like, even if I'm having a bad day, I'll still like it. Um, whereas the jumpsuit was quite like, it's quite sassy and I was like, if I'm not feeling sassy, then I might be like, I hate what I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with this and honestly, I had so many compliments. Literally, it's like the most beautiful little skater dress, honestly. Um, and then it just ties up at the back or you can tie it at the front, but I thought the back was nicer, but let me tie it, show you it at the front. Yeah, I definitely prefer the tie at the back. Um, and it's got like this beautiful low V um and it looks so nice and it's just so flattering and like all i want to do is just like dance so yeah i love this so much like honestly the amount of compliments i got in this and i don't normally wear green like honestly i think i have like maybe two items in my wardrobe that are green including this and one of them's a jumper so like does that really count um so yeah i'm obviously like i love it i'm gonna have to get more green this is the outfit that i wore on the last day we went for afternoon tea at the dorchester and honestly i did not know what we were doing so the first event got cancelled because it was raining and i don't someone told me that it was actually walking down portobello road market so i was like this is perfect and then it got put back on and it said meet at the dorchester and it was Dorchester afternoon tea and I was like, I feel really underdressed. So <laughs> definitely like not my best outfit decision, but I really like this outfit either way. Um, so I have this top from Majorelle. Um, so it's a Majorelle event and it's just really cute. It's got these big sleeves and um, this like lovely daisy kind of print in to the material. Um, and then it's like off shoulder on one side, but like really nicely down off shoulder, if you know what I mean. So it's like very flattering and like feels secure here um and yeah i just think it's really cute and then i paired it with these pink jeans from girlfriend denim i love girlfriend denim i literally could go on and on about them for so long these are the nicest jeans um, and i'm gonna do a little 
thing down the side here so that you can see me wearing them but they've got like the nicest wash really comfortable fit and they've got really nice detail on the hems which i adore so this is the outfit that i wore on the second day of the revolve around the world thing um and we went to clifton house which is the most a beautiful place like i've got a bit of a picture of me wearing this outfit in so you can see like how beautiful the setting for our lunch was um, and then i'll put another picture in of me outside in a different outfit because i did take a change because it was so beautiful um so you can see like i'm just gonna flash pictures whilst i'm doing this so you can see how beautiful this place was um so it was with lovers and friends so i have a lovers and friends um leather jacket i was gonna say then linen jacket on i love this jacket it's honestly my favorite thing um and you can do it up too i think it would look really cute with like just a skirt poking out like that um and then also this is a lovers and friends top so you can wear it like this it's actually a body sorry um or you can wear it like this so it's like crossed over there um so i prefer it like this but to be honest i think both ways are really nice and then you can see here i have uh, girlfriend denim skirt which I also really love um, and I actually went for the skirt with this outfit but this was a last minute pickup like I had some money left over of my budget and I picked all my outfits and they were like is there anything else you want and I was like do you know what I'm just gonna get that skirt because I really like it it's a good option to have in case it's hot um, and I just was like I really like it so I wore it with this outfit but I did actually plan to wear it with jeans so I'm going to show you the jeans now so these are the jeans and I quite frankly adore these jeans. The wash is so beautiful for spring summer because um, let's face it we don't really get good weather in the UK so it's nice to have a good pair of light wash jeans. Um, they fit so nicely. I do normally get a size 26 and like there is room in there but I think they fit nicely and comfortably um, and these are a waist 27 and I'm normally a waist 26 in like Topshop to give you a good idea. So like I could go for a 26 or a 27. I have got girlfriend jeans that are 26 and they fit me well. Um, but I just think these are like comfortable if you know what I mean. So it depends if you want like them <laughs> to be skin tight and look sexy or if you want to be comfortable. I'm a comfortable kind of gal. So this is the first outfit I wore to Revolve Festival. It was for the first day. We did like a bus tour around London. They literally decorated in those beautiful flowers. I'll put a picture in here. Um, and yeah, this is for Tula Rosa. So I'm wearing a Tula Rosa dress. I have actually got a dress really similar that's got a cut out here, um, which I love. So as soon as I saw this one, I like was drawn to it. Such a flattering style. It's kind of like goes down and then like just below the bum like flicks out. It's very flattering. It's got these lovely ruffles um and comfortable easy to wear like just my kind of dress and then i added this denim jacket which is also from girlfriend denim um i just <laughs> love girlfriend denim honestly i'm obsessed i've got like one two three four five six pairs or pieces from girlfriend denim so like yeah i'm obsessed that was really it took me a long time to wear that out um but yeah i love it. no i've got more because i've got two pairs of jeans and then i've got a skirt and this four five six, seven uh, anyway <laughs> regardless i love this denim jacket super nice and oversized i think i'm going to clear out all my other denim jackets to be honest because this is the only one that i need um and yeah i really love this i think it's such a cute little combo felt really good in it um and just had a really great time um i've moved you a bit further away for this these next few clips because i was like oh actually this is way better because you can see the bottom of the skirt and like the whole outfit rather than being like zoomed in. So this next look is fully new look. So um, I basically work with new look on a monthly basis. I do two Instagram posts, no two Instagrams, three Instagrams over two months. So basically they give me a gift voucher and they give me a theme. So this time it was summer dresses and then I can just pick whatever I want to post. So that was really like lovely to be they're really lovely to work with because they're really easy going um, and they like you to have head to toe new look so i picked out an entire new look outfit so i thought i'd show you so i'm just eating my words because <laughs> i did get another denim jacket but i really liked the wash of this one and it's slightly different if you can see um and this is like more of a cropped and like tied to fitting one though i did get this in a size 14 because i wanted it to be oversized um so yeah like bear in mind that i'm a size 10 and this is size that you can see here but obviously you wear it open and i like it i like it oversized um and then i have this dress which is like ruched here and it's multicolor stripes it's got buttons down the middle 
very cute i think it was 20 pounds um so yeah super affordable and then i also have this little bag which i was super like just anything with gold detailing i'm like obsessed with um and yeah it's got this but you could probably cut it off if you wanted um but i quite liked that you could have it like over the shoulder and i don't mind it hanging down like the strap um but yeah i just thought this was really cute it's like it's quite a good size to be honest um and it was also really cheap but like obviously everything will be linked so yeah this was my little new look outfit. And then while I'm still here, I want to show you a couple of things I was sent kindly from Stradivarius. I didn't actually pick these, they just asked my address, but I honestly am, um, like, everything's amazing. So I have this swimming costume, which obviously I'm not trying on to show you. So it's a swimming costume, but it's got, like, pink striped straps and then blue striped body. Um, and I'm going to Thailand at the end of the month, so I'm definitely going to take this with me. And the bag. Um, and the bag is, like, a beach bag style bag. Um, but it's, like... Per perspex is it called like vinyl clear vinyl um, it says loved but in kind of like a mirrored effect um, and yeah it's like a beach bag super huge you can fit loads in it it'd be great for hand luggage actually um, so like if you like the clear bag trend this is a great way to wear it if you want to wear it but you don't want like everyone to see what's in your bag because it just kind of looks like you've got a bag in a bag if you know what I mean so yeah super cute little striped package from them which I adore so um this is from accessorize this little shirt it's really cute i've actually only done one button up because i was like i like it low so you can see my necklaces and it's it's got a tie bit but i wanted to like enhance the tie bit and make it look super tied um so yeah i really like this and um, it's got really beautiful like embroidery detail on and honestly like i'm really shocked at accessorize i just think they do such a good job with their clothing and i always underestimate them and i never think to look there for clothing um but i do actually work with them so um they basically every month i do two instagram posts for them and they basically sometimes they give me a theme sometimes they don't so this month they didn't give me a theme they would just like go to your local accessorize and pick six pieces they told them i was going and i picked six pieces to create two images so that was really nice and then last month um it was beachwear or like holiday like summery type stuff and i was going on holiday so it was like perfect so yeah it's all kind of like every month they have a different theme but it's very like self-directed which most like most blogger collaborations are like if you actually look into it um so yeah it's very nice and very lovely to be able to work with brands like that and i'm blabbering now but i really like the shirt <laughs> so this dress is really increased so apologies but i want to show you this which is the other thing that i got for my accessorized post i actually shot it at clive jen when i was with evolve sneakily before they got there so i have a look here and you will see it um in front of the beautiful gardens and i was actually really surprised that this has got pockets like honestly the dream um but yeah i loved the color of this dress and the beautiful like embroidered detail um, and it's quite long too like it comes to just above my knees so it's quite like covered up so it's not necessarily something just for like the youngsters um and i think it'll look really cute with a belt too just like chucked over um, and then I also picked up this bag from um, Accessorize, which I am simply obsessed with. How nice is it? Look, it's got like, it's like raffia and then it's got straw, like kind of flower print on it. I am simply obsessed with it. So this dress is super cute. It's like a knitted dress with like textured detail. If you can see, it's like stripes, but textured. It's so soft. And this is actually from B Banana Republic, and I've never had anything from them before. Um, I actually met the girl from Banana Republic when I was at the Reward Star Conference, and she got in touch and just said, do you want to pick some things? And I was like, yes, please, <laughs> obviously. Um, and this is such a cute little like knitted dress. I went for a couple of basics, um, and yeah, I really like this. I'm going to show you like a down the side one here too, so you can see the length of it but it's a really nice length it's really flattering really simple i love dresses like this that you just can kind of like shove on and as we established before with my stripy dress and my zara haul if you didn't see it's here um i am loving like midi dresses at the moment so i'm very glad to add another one to my collection i also got this top from banana republic which is really similar in like the cut oh my necklace is on and um, it's really similar in the cut so it's got like the um kind of like I don't know what they call it, like square, it's like very square um, and I just think it's really nice, like simple, basic, it's knitted, it's so soft, like honestly I wish you could feel this um, and it's like really nice and loose um, and I've just tucked into the corner of this denim skirt and I really like it like this or you could wear it untucked, I think untucked would look really nice with like some black skinny jeans and trainers or something 
Um, so yeah, I just thought it was a really nice basic. Um, but if you want to see me like styling in different ways or any of these things, then make sure you follow me on my Instagram, um, which is at Sinead and you will see lots of outfit inspiration and also probably more items that I haven't got around to featuring on here yet or will be in next week's haul. Um, but before I go, I want to show you something of a birthday treat that I got myself. Um, I did show it in my uh, vlog, but I know not everyone watches that, so I want to show you guys again. Um, I got these trainers from Golden Goose. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I've become like somewhat of a um, Golden Geese fiend, is that a word? Like, I'm obsessed with Golden Goose trainers. They're the comfiest trainers in the entire world, and basically on my birthday morning, or like, no, 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 it wasn't my birthday morning, I'm lying. Like, two days before my birthday morning, I got an email saying that there was a special secret netticore to sale on, which I've since, like, not had anything about, so I think it was literally just like a select few people got it. Because um, I know a couple of other people got it, but then I know a few people who didn't get it um, and had discount on new season stuff, including these trainers, which I've been looking at for ages because I saw Happily Grey in them. Um, and I love them. So they're like dark green velvet with like a little um, star made out of uh, glitter, I think it is. Um, and then like kind of glittery laces, but not. And I just think they're so cool. Um, I just think they also look so nice with like skirts and bare legs. Um, and I'm such a Golden Goose fan, like honestly, if you haven't felt the comfort of a Golden Goose, you haven't lived. So on that slightly dramatic note, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in to my first weekly haul. I hope that you liked it. If there's something you want to see more of or like you don't like about it, then make sure you leave me a comment and let me know. Or if there's something you like to leave me a comment and let me know. Let me know what you think of these products. Do you like them? Do you follow me on Instagram? If you don't, make sure you do so you can see how I'm styling them more. And yeah. Um, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. It really means a lot. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.